Hey everybody, it's Adam from Encounter Wargaming, and I did a crazy thing. Check it out, and you'll see what I did. So I got a 3D printer! Uh, oh my gosh. It's still in the box. On the floor. Uh help <laughs> what do i do should we open it um come open it with me and see what it looks like and what it does oh my goodness i'm nervous you want to open a 3d printer with me uh which kind did i get even um let's just open it and find out here's the big crazy box straight from amazon Still with the tags on it and everything. Let's, uh, let's run a knife down there. So the reason I got this thing was because 3D printing is, you know, increasingly becoming a real uh, game changer in the industry. Now the technology, in my opinion, is still, still getting there in terms of being really uh, accessible for most people and even, even just getting the quality of prints necessary um we're getting some really good stuff out there but i wanted to get in the game see what was going on and really have a go at this so okay one piece of paper and another box this is like russian doll game here i see amazon i see this game you want to play oh boy okay it's a little bit heavy <laughs> Everything's a box inside a box, inside a box, inside a box. Okay, let me break down this box and we'll be ah, Unboxing stage two. Open the smaller box inside the larger box. You having fun watching me open boxes yet? Uh, ooh, this looks like progress. Ooh, foam. Ooh, things. Yummy. Oh my gosh, it's scary. It looks like a computer. Oh my lordy. Okay, so big box full of foam, eh? Let's see here. What's in here? Oh, things. Things and stuff. Okay, so. Um, oh yeah, this is the Anycubic i3 Mega. That's what that's what kind of in my excitement. I forgot <laughs> what kind. Looks like a little SD D drive. Um, and bits and pieces, huh? Let's see what kind of what kind of bits and pieces we got. Ooh, oh, looks like nozzle cleaning bits and pieces. I'm gonna throw these on my desk as I pull them out. Looks like uh, ooh, little clippers, little uh, screwdrivers. Oh, little USB, USB stick. Um, little screws. Oh, some very important electronic thing in there, an Allen key and a wrench. Okie dokie, a very important looking spring. Neat. Uh, nuclear bomb. <laughs> Ooh, it's a, a, scra a scraper, sure, why not? Um, why do you need that? I don't know. Uh, thingies, okay. Um, More, more thingies. Ooh, fancy thingies. These look like laser cut PVC pieces. Same with those last two that I just pulled out. Ooh, more fancy screws. Okay. Uh, oh, this is a Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt cable to USB. Thunderbolt to USB. Uh, oh, yeah, like a power, a pow power cord. Very cool. <coughs> Oh, this looks, this looks very important. A piece of plastic, no, no, this piece right here. This looks like the actual nozzle. So yeah, be, yeah, yeah, cool. Uh, ooh, replacement nozzles, because I hear they get clogged. The, the uh, SD drive fell on the ground, SD drive. Replacement nozzles. Uh, Stuff and things. 
cards. What are these? Um, any cubic pass test. Okay. So yeah, pass the test apparently. Any cubic member discount card. Amazing. Don't steal my code if you saw it there. After sale service card. Cool. I get a little service card. Why not? Cool. Oh yeah. Looks like some PLA to do some uh, test runs. So just some cool plastic right there. Oh my goodness. And then the main, the main shtick. Oh. Oh. Cool. Can you see it? Yeah, you can. Okay. Wow. This looks like the bed where everything prints and happen where the magic happens. Remove the model. Remove the model till ultra base cools down. What? You mean don't remove the model? Or do? Maybe it means remove the model when it cools down. Refer to the user manual for more detail. Okay. Well, in any, in any case. Wow. Very cool. That's like the main console there. Oh, all the fun stuff that I do not understand. This is like way above my head, guys. I do not understand anything when it comes to this stuff. So this experience here will be, you're probably like me, a total noob when it comes to anything 3D printing. So this user manual is gonna come in very, very handy. All right. Oh, it's so exciting. Okay, Oh, A huge roll of PLA. Very nice. Okay, okay. Ah, what a picture. Oh. Foam. Top layer of foam. Oh. Oh. Okay. Aha. And then you see the big armature that goes on the top that oh just looks so complicated and fragile uh, oh here's like a little cardboard box maybe we'll take that out first what's that for maybe just a spacer yeah it looks like just a, spa a spacer protect these gizmo parts of it over there okay what I think I'm gonna do is lift that out Take this uh, styrofoam out of here. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous, guys. I'm so nervous. <laughs> uh, and come on out. Oh, wow. Okay, it's heavy and breakable. Make sure you throw it underhanded wherever you're gonna throw it. Oh, I got it out. Whoa, it's crazy. Oh my gosh. Ah. Okay. So, I'm just gonna put this down somewhere over here. Oi, oi, oi. Don't break the new toy, Adam. Okay, let's see if we can put this down. Yeah, got it, got it down. Got it down and safe, maybe, hopefully. So, all right, I'm gonna clean up all this mess and I'm gonna set it up on my desk and we'll be right back. Hey, you guys can see what's going on here. So here's some more, uh, I don't know, comprehensive look at kind of everything that came in that huge box. So kind of like the main base, the big arm structure here, um, a big stack of PLA. So I got a huge roll of white and then a bunch of uh, multicolored stuff. Um, here's some like uh, acrylic add-on bits. Um, not 100% sure what they're for yet, but we'll find out soon. A bunch of tools, maybe for assembly, but maybe for maintenance as well. Big scraper, a pair of clippers, a whole bunch of Allen keys and a couple little wrenches. Um, nice pair of tweezers, a little tiny screwdriver, flathead, um, a bunch of little screws, a USB and SD card, um, 
I think these are nozzle cleaners. So I think like three little nozzle cleaners there. Um, and then uh, some computer chippy thing. I think this, it looks like there's already a printer head nozzle and everything in there, but then there might even be a spare one, which is really cool. Uh, this tube, I have no idea what this is for. Um, I took one of the ends off and looked inside. There was nothing in it. So don't know what it's for. Maybe it's a replacement tube. <laughs> Maybe there's a tube somewhere that, uh, I don't know. Who knows? Um, the main base, the user manual, the power cord, and then a USB cord. And so that's all the junk that's in there. Um, all the wonderful, beautiful things that come in that box. Um, and so, yeah, so that's, that's that. Uh, I'm going to open up the user manual, check out the first few steps to assembly, and maybe, should we assemble this thing together? Or should I just show it to you finished? Bah, maybe I'll just finish it, because I don't want to do something stupid to break it, because I'm goofing around on camera. So I think I'll assemble it, show it to you assembled, and kind of tell you about my experience uh, assembling it. And then, um, yeah, we'll do like a quick first print. So yeah, let's do it. We'll be right back. Okay, so I think I got this thing going. Oh my gosh, what's happening? It's it's on, and it's shooting plastic out of it, and it's doing a thing. Super, super cool. Um, so yeah, so got it all together. Uh, it, was, it was pretty simple to just get it together. There were just a few screws on either side. Um, and then plugging in some of the cabling to the base. Uh, but what I noticed was um, I did a first test print and I had it going and printing. It's just the base file that comes with the SD card that comes with it. It's these two little owl, owl duders. Um, and it got about 20% of the way through it or you know 15% of the way through it or whatever. And these two posts actually fell out of their, their housing because these screws weren't tightened. Um, and it didn't say to tighten them in the instructions because it didn't say they were loose. But uh, so I guess maybe they loosened in transport or whatever. Um, and so I, I tightened them and started again. <laughs> so there you go, just a quick tip. If you get uh, an Anycubic i3 Mega, just check the screws that hold in the, uh, the lateral moving um, parts there. So there you go. Uh, quick tip for you um, it's fun I can't wait I want to show you guys the finished result here for the first piece uh, pieces that are coming out these two little owls and then we'll start printing um, some terrain and show you how it goes but uh, but yeah that, that's pretty cool so we'll be back when this thing is done it's been on for 22 minutes and it says it's 12% of the way through um, so yeah there you go you'll see how much of this gets printed um, over the course of, I don't know, probably two hours. We'll have two little owls sitting there. So, um, yeah, I look forward to giving you guys an update in a couple hours. We'll be back. Oh, cool. It's almost done. Just got to do Buddy O's little top hat, I guess. Oh, man. Here's the test file. Can't wait to print some more ham stuff. But uh, two little owls. Coming up quick. Looks pretty good quality for uh, yeah. I'm stoked to pull them off this thing and take a look. But yeah, everything's going smooth once I figured out my my one little problem. <laughs> and so, uh, oh my goodness, 98% almost there. Just rounding out his little hat. Kind of owl wears a top hat anyway. Hmm. Eight. Come on, baby, you can do it. Well, this has been exciting. I'm exciting. I'm excited to uh, just get my hands on some files and really start uh, printing some things out. You know, see what kind of use we can get out of this out of this printer here. So I'm pretty I'm pretty excited to be honest. It's a lot of fun opportunities that this opens up the door for. And this is just the start of it. You're witnessing history, folks. History in the making. 99%. 99%. Yeah, finish that top hat. Okay, okay. Round and round and round she goes. Almost done. 
some pretty cool stuff on uh, online here. Of course, I've got a bunch of files coming from my boys over at Infinite Dimension Games. I just reviewed some of their stuff because they asked me to paint some stuff for them. And uh, so I'm going to have a bunch of files soon um, from them. I'll start printing some stuff out. Oh, we done? Ooh, sure. <laughs> Kind of coming to the front. Okay. Well, well, look at that. Pretty neat. I got two cute little owls. My three year old will love this. I'm telling that daddy made them on his new printer. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's zoom out. Awesome. Wow. Printing done. Took an hour and 22 minutes. Okay. Press a little button there. Yeah. Now what? Go back. See that thing's cooling down. Yeah, it looks like everything's cooling down on its own. So just let it cool down, and then we'll pop those off. And, but that is pretty sweet, guys. So that is, just so everyone's aware, um, this 3D printer right here, you can see, is the Anycubic i3 mega um pretty sweet little print on the first go just gonna have a close look here stick my face in the camera i can see a little bit of the layers and so i don't know how easy that is to edit um but yeah like it's decently smooth i bet if you mess with some of the settings you can make those layers even thinner but it's not so bad just having printed uh or just having painted the Infinite Dimension Games guys stuff. Um, the layer height seems fairly similar. I don't know how to tell all this, so it's definitely a lot of learning I'm gonna do over the next little while, but um, I'm super impressed. Like, yeah, it's happening. It's happening, guys. There's a lot to learn here with the 3D printing worlds, but uh, yeah, I mean, they'll be stuck on there pretty good until I pry them off. So we'll wait for that to cool down, and then we'll just get them off of there. But there you go. Look at that. That's my unbox and review. My first jump into 3D printing with an Anycubic i3 Mega. Seemed to work out pretty good. It was pretty simple. <coughs> One little mistake. All I had to do is tighten some screws and re-level the bed, and then everything was good. And uh, this is going to be fun. Stay tuned for more cool updates and fun stuff with uh, 3D printing in the future. So it's been a few days now and I just wanted to jump in with some updates on some things I printed out and I've been having a lot of fun. I've been, been having this thing go pretty non-stop and I uh, printed out this uh, cool pup pad for Paw Patrol for my daughter. Um, I gotta paint it up and put these like sticker inserts in here. Um, this is like Ryder's pup pad, you know? Why the heck not? Check that out. Pretty cool. Yeah. Comes in like different pieces, right? pretty slick all right so that's like a fun little thing and then uh, and then I made this Necron obelisk thingy so that's pretty cool printed out really well I dropped the layer height down to 0.1 and I uh, went nuts and it looks pretty good all the supports that came up in here were tough to get out but they got them out and uh, yeah it's pretty sick looks good so start 3d printing out some terrain and just have a blast with it. I got some stringing up in the top, but cleaned it up okay with a knife. But yeah, it looks really good. It's pretty cool. It's been a lot of fun. So I hope you guys have some fun. This is the, uh, again, any Cubic i3 Mega. And uh, yeah, enjoy your, enjoy your 3D printing experience, guys. And I can't wait to show you what else I come up with in the future. Like, I want to do a whole table of, uh, of Necron stuff, right? So print it out, show it to you guys, and uh, start playing games on it. So. Actually here, just a quick size comparison. This is a 40 mil base, dude. So it can like, you know, this just hide one guy like that, right? But, uh, you know, get some stuff a little bit bigger, you know, a little chunkier and we'll see. This is like tall and thin. So we'll get a few of these scattered around the table. Um, and if you had like a field of them, right? It all block, you can line them up in a certain way that all block each other. But um, yeah, some like shorter, stumpier, wider things would be really good to block uh, tanks and stuff. So there you go. That's 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 the journey into the 3D printing so far, and uh, 
yeah stay tuned for more let's just let's just wrap this up right here guys if you like this jump down there hit subscribe um you can also jump down there if you want to support everything we do in our new journey into 3d printing you can jump down there into our patreon link and support us on patreon for as little as a dollar a video and that's it for today guys we will see you at our next encounter Like a monkey in a rocket on his way back home. Okay.